Since the historic Apollo 11 mission in 1969, conspiracy theories have persisted claiming the moon landing was a hoax. Despite substantial evidence confirming the success of the Apollo missions, these myths continue to captivate some skeptics. Let's explore and debunk five of the most common myths surrounding the moon landing. Myth 1. The Waving Flag One of the most frequently cited pieces of evidence by conspiracy theorists is the appearance of the American flag waving on the moon. Since the moon has no atmosphere, they argue, the flag should not move. The flag appears to be waving because of the way it was set up. The astronauts used a horizontal rod to extend the flag, and when they were planting it into the lunar soil, the flag rippled due to the movement. Additionally, without air resistance, the flag continued to move slightly for a longer period after being disturbed, giving the appearance of waving. Myth 2. The starless sky. Photos taken on the moon show a black sky with no stars, leading some to believe the images were staged in a studio with a black backdrop. The starless sky is a result of the camera settings and the lunar surface's brightness. Astronauts used fast shutter speeds and small apertures to capture clear images of the moon's surface and their equipment, which were illuminated by direct sunlight. These settings washed out the dim light from stars, making them invisible in the photographs. Myth 3. The Shadow Anomalies Skeptics argue that shadows in the moon landing photos fall in different directions, suggesting multiple light sources like those used in a studio. The varied directions of shadows can be explained by the uneven lunar surface and the perspective of the camera. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe for more amazing astronomy videos. On the moon, the only light source is the sun, but the landscape's contours can cause shadows to appear at different angles. This effect is known as perspective distortion and is commonly observed in uneven terrains on Earth as well. Myth 4. The lack of impact crater. Some claim that the lunar module should have created a significant crater upon landing, yet photos show no such impact crater beneath it. The lunar module's descent engine was throttled down during the final stages of landing to ensure a gentle touchdown. The moon's surface is also covered with a layer of fine dust, not loose soil, which doesn't displace easily to form a crater. Instead, the dust was blown away in a radial pattern visible in the photos. Myth 5. The Belts of Death Conspiracy theorists assert that astronauts would not have survived passing through the Van Allen radiation belts, which they refer to as belts of death. The Van Allen belts contain regions of high energy particles, but the Apollo missions were carefully planned to minimize exposure. The spacecraft traveled through the thinner parts of the belts at high speeds, limiting the duration of exposure. Additionally, the spacecraft's shielding and the short time spent in the belts ensured that the radiation levels remained within safe limits for the astronauts. What is the evidence that we landed on the moon? Multiple lines of evidence confirm the moon landing, including lunar rock samples brought back to Earth, detailed photographs and videos from the missions, and the presence of scientific instruments left on the lunar surface. Additionally, recent lunar missions from other countries have captured images of the Apollo landing sites. Is the flag still on the moon? Yes, the American flags planted during the Apollo missions are still on the moon, although they have likely been bleached white by the harsh ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Is there wind on the moon? No, the moon has no atmosphere and thus no wind. Any movement of objects on the moon is due to physical disturbances rather than atmospheric effects. What countries have landed on the moon? To date, the United States and China have successfully landed crewed and uncrewed missions on the moon. The Soviet Union also conducted uncrewed lunar landings during the space race era. Why haven't we gone back to the moon? After the initial Apollo missions, priorities and funding for space exploration shifted. However, there are plans to return to the moon in the near future, with NASA's Artemis program aiming to land the next astronauts on the lunar surface and establish a sustainable presence. Moon landing conspiracy theories, bottom line. Despite the persistence of moon landing conspiracy theories, the overwhelming evidence and scientific consensus affirm that the Apollo missions were genuine achievements. 
The myths are easily debunked with logical explanations and a basic understanding of physics and photography. The legacy of the Apollo missions continues to inspire scientific discovery and exploration. After exploring these debunked myths and learning about the extensive evidence supporting the moon landing, what do you believe now? Have these explanations changed your perspective? Share your thoughts and leave a comment below. We value your opinions and encourage a healthy discussion. Remember, questioning is the first step towards understanding, but it's crucial to consider the evidence and scientific consensus. Let's continue to explore the wonders of space together, grounded in facts and driven by curiosity. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more fascinating content. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars and keep questioning.